in the bowels of a frozen mountain, on a remote island in the Arctic archipelago of the Svalbard Islands, there is a resource of vital importance for the future of humanity. It is not oil, precious minerals, or money, but seeds. We are talking about the Global Seed Vault, a sort of huge safety deposit box that holds the largest collection in the world of agricultural biodiversity, representing over 13,000 years of agricultural history. The structure is located above the Arctic Circle, between Norway and the North Pole, in a quiet and safe corner at the top of the world. It has been dubbed as the Doomsday Vault, as it evokes the image of a seed supply to be used in the event of a global catastrophe or an apocalyptic event. The Seed Vault is not only for this, but also to face the threats and possible destruction of the other gene banks around the world. There are more than 1,700 gene banks around the world, but they are very vulnerable, exposed to natural disasters and wars. Hence the idea of creating a gene bank that would act as a storage facility, or to collect duplicates of seeds from the main world crops in case the original ones were lost. A kind of big black box, a second safety backup to preserve the genetic heritage of the crops. A structure built to withstand the test of time and natural disasters, ensuring the world's future food supply. The United Nations predicts that the global population will peak at 9.7 billion people by 2050. Changing weather patterns cause changes in the seasons, impacting the ability of agricultural crops to grow or even survive. The seeds are therefore of value for food and agriculture and important for plant research and reproduction. It is an area that is geologically stable and with low humidity levels. The sea vault is carved more than 100 meters into a mountain of sandstone rock 130 meters above sea level, ensuring that the site remains dry even in the event of melting Arctic glaciers. The cold climate and the presence of permafrost, i.e. a perpetually frozen ground, guarantees the conservation of the seeds, even if climate changes are threatening the structure. The structure is built in concrete in order to withstand a possible plane crash or, worse still, a nuclear war. Once inside, we find a large concrete tunnel, illuminated by light strips, that lead to the heart of the structure, where the keys to the future of global food security are kept. Here, we find three sheds with a base of about 9.5 meters for 27 meters. Each room can accommodate approximately 1.5 million seed samples. The seed vault has the capacity to store 4.5 million varieties of crops. Each variety will contain 500 seeds on average, so a maximum of 2.5 billion seeds can be stored. To date, only one of these sheds is in use. When the maximum capacity is reached, the second storage area will come into operation. The permafrost offers natural freezing and has a stable temperature between minus 3 and minus 4 degrees. Thanks to the artificial cooling systems, it is possible to reach minus 18 degrees, optimal temperature for storing seeds. What is inside? They are found from unique varieties of major African and Asian staples, such as corn, rice, wheat, to European and South American varieties of eggplant, lettuce, barley, and potatoes. Preserved in the vault, we also find millet, chickpeas, beans, lentils, and various species of fruit, vegetables, herbs, and other plants. The seed vault sets opening dates about three times a year when seeds can be sent. They are usually shipped to Svalbard by air transport, while in the case of larger shipments, seed transport can be chosen. The storage of seeds is completely free, and they are owned by the depositors. For safety reasons, all boxes are scanned to ensure that no items other than seed bags enter the structure. At this point, the seeds are stored in specially designed three-layer sealed aluminum packages. They are then placed in plastic containers and placed on metal shelves inside the vault. Film strips are attached to the seed boxes containing information on the identity of the seeds and other valuable information to prevent them from being lost in the event of destruction of the data collection systems. 
They are then inserted into the database. Low temperatures and little oxygen retard the aging of seeds, thus ensuring an ideal environment for storage. In an age of uncertainty and geopolitical tension, the Global Seed Vault represents a place full of hope and international cooperation for the good of humanity. Any nation can send seeds for free, with no political restrictions. The goal is to safeguard as much genetic material as the world's unique crops 